Hey everyone, it's Intel here, and this is my 300k special. This video is going to be divided into two parts. The first part is what you see on screen, which is a showcase of my 300k pack, which is Nebula 32X. This pack was made by Lushi. If you want a full showcase and download, the link is in the description below. It's basically a 32x revamped version of Nebula 16x, which was my 30k pack. And the second part of this video is going to be a setup tour. I know a lot of you guys have been wanting an updated setup tour. I think the last one I made was like two years ago, so like a lot has changed since then. Timestamps will be in the description below so that you can skip around to whatever part of the video that you want to watch. Before I get into the setup tour though, I do want to talk about 300k just for a little bit, you know, get the corny stuff out of the way. I started YouTube as a hobby just to show off some PvP clips that I got from time to time, and I never expected to, you know, make it this far where at like, there's people who actually watch me, I mean 300k of you. So looking back on me then when I just started my channel and comparing it to now is honestly just mind-blowing. I've had so much success with YouTube and it's it's enabled me to do this as a career, and it's opened up a lot of doors for me. And it's so unbelievable, and I know that 300k, you know, it might not be a lot compared to some of the top YouTubers out there, like, you know, Dream or whatever, but having a dedicated audience that's composed of so many people that watch my content just... I mean, I, I can't thank you guys enough for it. It really does mean the world to me. Aside from that, I do want to talk about some other stuff, as well as drag out the commentary a little bit so you guys can see the entire Bed Wars game. The first thing I want to talk about are uploads, and I know that my uploads have been slowing down a little bit. So not that long ago, I decided to get a video editor for myself. I know it's about time. Um, I somehow got to 300k without like any editor, just me editing my own videos. But anyways, having a video editor is going to impact my channel in a few ways. So firstly, because I have an actual editor now who's also like really good at editing that's gonna enable me to make a lot of new and ambitious video ideas that I wouldn't have been able to make in the past. So with some of my future videos that I have in mind I'm gonna be expanding my content outside of just you know PvP and Bed Wars and I have some really good ideas that I think you guys are gonna enjoy a lot like I'm really excited to show you guys what I have planned. Now the downside of this is that uploads are going to be a little bit slower just because some of these ideas take like a lot of work to execute but I think the quality of these videos is gonna make up for that. Aside from that, Pyrelic is also my biggest focus right now. If you guys didn't know, Pyrelic is a Minecraft server that I've been working on that we're planning on releasing in the very near future. Having my own Minecraft server where I can create new game ideas has been something that I've always wanted to do, and I really just want to bring something refreshing into the multiplayer community because I feel like the multiplayer community has gotten relatively stale. We're working hard on Pyrelic though, I know it's been taking a long time, but it's gonna be worth it, trust me. The next video I have in mind, by the way, is an updated Bedwars guide. My my last Bed Wars guide is like one of my most popular videos on my channel. It has like over a million views. And honestly, I think it's like one of the worst videos on my channel. Like I hate that video. <laughs> it's just so embarrassing. So I've been putting in a lot of effort to remake that guide and make it actually like really, really good this time around. And the editing in that video also is like really good. Like this new editor I got is actually nuts. Like you guys are gonna love this video. But yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Uh, once again, the pack is going to be in the description if you want to download it. If enough people like the pack, then Lushi will make recolors of it in the future, so if that's something that you want, then make sure to like the video and show Lushi some support. Once again, thank you guys so much for 300k, it really does mean the world to me and I can't express my gratitude enough. I hope you guys continue to enjoy my content going into the future, but anyways, I'm really just stretching out my commentary at this point, I really hope that this Bed Wars game is finished by now. Assuming that it is, let's go ahead and get into the setup tour now. So here is my room and this is my setup. I know that my mic quality isn't the greatest right now because I'm using my phone, but that's sort of like the best option I have. Uh, I'll go over everything that I use. I'll put everything on screen as well as down in the description. I'll use affiliate links so that if you're interested in any of these products, then you can buy them yourself. I guess I'll just start at the main setup. So this is a chair I use, it's a Razer Isker. Probably have seen this in all of my live streams. The microphone right here, I use the Blue Yeti X and it's on a shock mount that's connected to, um, it's an Elgato mic stand. I don't know the exact name of it, but I'll throw it up on screen. As for the keyboard, I actually use two different keyboards, but this is the keyboard that I use for almost everything. And this is the Minute Tech keyboard that he gave me in his video, which you should watch. I use this keyboard for everything except for Osu. And for Osu, I use this keyboard right here which is the glorious GMMK2. As for my mice, I got the trusty old Logitech G Pro Wireless Superlight. This is my favorite mouse for almost all things. I also do have the, right here, the glorious Model I on my desk. 
This is for like, if I'm really sweating, like if I really need the CPS, then like I'll change to this mouse. But like 99% of times I, I don't need the CPS. So I just like stick with the super light. For the headset, this is a pair of Sennheiser headphones. I don't honestly know what they're called. Uh, I don't use the microphone on this. Uh, I use the Blue Yeti right there. This headset is like amazing, by the way. Like I would recommend this to anyone who's like looking to buy a new headset. It's so comfortable and it sounds so good. As for my mouse pads, you can see I have two on my desk right now. This one, which is my main one, um, this is the Artisan Hien. Um, I used to use the Hayate Atsu, but I switched back to the Hien because it felt like a little more consistent to me. The pad under it is one of the Flow Shop desk pads. Um, this is just like a nice sort of like art piece, I guess. And it also feels really comfortable for your keyboard hand. Like when you're on your keyboard, instead of having like your wrists lay directly on the table, it feels nice having it like rest on like cloth. As for my main monitor, this is an Acer 390Hz monitor. Uh, the second monitor is just some random Samsung monitor. It's like not special at all, but this is super nice. Uh, I've loved it ever since I got it. It just feels like super, super smooth to like move your mouse around. Like you probably can't see it because the video's being recorded in 60 FPS, but this monitor is amazing. As for the camera, uh, that is the Canon M50 Mark II that's connected to an Elgato cam link. That's what I use for like all my face cam stuff. And it is surrounded by an Elgato ring light. Some other stuff I got going on, I got the stream deck, which I use for, well, streaming. This thing right here is a wireless phone charger. I just put my phone on it, obviously like I can't do it now because I'm like, I'm recording with my phone. Right over here is a mouse bungee in case I need to use like any wired mouse or I just use this for my Model I right now. This is my hand cam. It's a Razer Keo and I just have it on top of some mouse boxes. So it points like directly to my hand as I'm playing and that's how I get like my hand cam footage. Got some drinks right here because you always got to stay hydrated as you're gaming. And over here is my computer. So I built this myself. Uh, the specs off the top of my head are an i7, 12700K, 32 gigabytes of DDR5 RAM, and RTX 3070. If you want the rest of the specs, I'll leave it down in the description below, but uh, I built this computer. I really like it. Served me well. Forgot to talk about this controller. This is just like some random Razer controller that I use for playing games like Elden Ring and whatnot. As for like other stuff around my room, um, this is like my old computer that was in like my last setup video, which I just haven't found a use for for like anything. I got a poster. I got a YouTube plaque right there for reaching 100,000 subscribers to Intel edits. Nothing much going on over here. Uh, if this video hits 10,000 likes, then I will do a credit card and social security number reveal. So be on the lookout for that. Got an iPad over here because I actually use iPads, uh, AirPods, which aren't in the case. Um, Apple Watch, I guess. Got my bed, nothing too fancy. Got this nice tapestry. This poster over here is a Steins Gate poster, which was like one of the, I think one of the first anime that I watched and I really liked it, so I picked up this poster. This bright light over here is my Nano Leaf, and this is actually really nice for just like recording any face cam footage in general, because it sort of like gives some background lighting, sort of like lightens up the the environment, I guess. Nothing much over here. Oh, uh, I actually have this Lushi plushie and you should definitely check her out because she made my 300K pack. This thing is for, um, I'll try to open it. Sorry, I had to use two hands to open it, but this is just like Pokemon cards. I used to like collect uh, a lot of Pokemon cards. So I just have like some, just some like random cards in here. I don't know what's really in here. I haven't really collected Pokemon cards in a while. Also got some shoes over here, but I think that's really it. Like that is my entire room for the most part. Oh yeah, I also got like a, a stack of mouse pads that are under here. Um, But yeah, that really is it. Like there's nothing else to my room. I think what I'm gonna show you guys next is my unboxing setup because that is actually something that's new and is sort of interesting. Okay, this right here is my unboxing setup. So this is outside of my room because I don't really have like a lot of space in my house, but this is like essentially what you see whenever I do like any type of unboxing. So over here, I have two Elgato key lights and I have this like little um, camera arm that is connected to a Canon M50 Mark II. On top of it, I have this desk mat that's from Novel Keys and this is just so like it has like a nice background. But yeah, that's pretty much it for the unboxing setup. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just some lights, a camera, and then a table with a fancy desk mat and I just like open boxes on it. So yeah. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So thank you guys so much for watching. Once again, thank you so much for 300K. I know you have probably probably heard that a lot by now, so I'm sorry. This person in the lobby is sort of staring me down. Um, shout out to them, I guess. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you want to help support me as a content creator, you can consider checking out my Lunar Client cosmetics at the description below. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.